As suspended bridge engineering feats go, this one's pretty big. It's essentially like a great big Lego set that we're taking pieces out and replacing them and opening up the traffic in between, which is the, the really difficult part. That's right, take chunks out of the McDonald Bridge, replace them, and do it all without disrupting the daily commute. About 45,000 vehicles a day. Then there's all the harbour traffic below. It's a tall order. But it's only the second time in the world that a suspension bridge has been had its main spans or, or its bridge decks replaced in this fashion and reopened into traffic in between. It would be more common to shut something down and redo it. So it, it is second time in the world. The first time, Vancouver, the Lionsgate Bridge, back about 15 years ago. Uh, trying to engineer a bridge so that it will support traffic at the same time closing it at night and replacing entire sections of a bridge. The same engineers, the same contractor, are now working on the McDonald Bridge project. They said the bridge couldn't be built and the bridge wouldn't be built, so you built it. When the bridge opened on April 2nd, 1955, it was the second largest in the Commonwealth. And it was much more than a signature landmark for this city. It was a vital link between Dartmouth and the Halifax Peninsula with its bustling downtown. It helped shape the city. Today, the McDonald Bridge is one of only five ways onto the peninsula. But the bridge, all 762 meters of it, is tired. Its 46 deck segments, worn down by time and traffic, must all be replaced. So where do you go to fabricate bridge segments? Well, if you're in Halifax, luckily, you simply come down the harbor a little bit to a place where 150 people are doing just that. Each segment is floated down the harbor to the bridge. That yellow gantry crane attached to the bridge lowers the old piece down and raises the new one into place while the bridge is briefly shut down. It is a big feat. It's, it's complicated. It's uh, tricky. So what impact is it all having on the commute? Well, there have been some days when the bridge wasn't ready to reopen. Oh God, probably won't get to work till about 10 o'clock now. Oh, they're pretty uh, discouraged. <laughs> it certainly hasn't been a completely smooth ride. A big bump caused by one of the transition plates really led to traffic backups. And there's a gap between the old, the, the 1999 deck and the new deck that's about um, eight feet, six, eight feet long, and uh, there's they're, the bump they're there. Go over the bump, and okay. there's a second bump here, bump. going back onto the existing. There, it's sizable. I mean, you feel that. And weather delayed things as well. But the two hundred and five million dollar project is expected to be completed on time. For John Apple, it's personal. It, it feels like a part of my family. It doesn't feel like an inanimate object. A once-in-a-lifetime project that piece by piece is giving this bridge a new lease on life itself. Tom Murphy, CBC News, Halifax.